With only a few days to go until gay couples can legally marry, Kern County law enforcement officials and local business owners are preparing for same-sex couples to tie the knot in Kern County. 17's Alex Valle joins us in the newsroom tonight with that story. Alex. Tammy, the controversy surrounding gay marriage could be a windfall for the sagging state economy. A UCLA study projects same-sex marriages will generate about $680 million for the state. According to Kern County's financial report, in 2007 alone, the Kern County Clerk's Office performed about 2,000 wedding ceremonies and issued almost 5,000 marriage licenses. That represents about 40% of all marriages in Kern County. At the popular Smith's Bakery, weddings bring in hundreds of cake orders each year. With a busy summer ahead, owner Jim Balmain says he will help all couples create their wedding cake, gay or straight. We're just here to help the whole community. After the state Supreme Court lifted its ban on gay marriage, yes, Reverend Bird so Tetzloff says she decided she would marry any gay couple outside the county building on Tuesday. Ceremonies must be held outside after County Clerk Ann Barnett announced last week weddings will no longer be performed by the county. I want to make it a, a pleasant, happy, rejoicing day for the couples who are getting married. Oh, well, you know, there's, there's getting the tuxedos and ordering the cake and getting the champagne. And Local gay rights activist Whitney Waddell is one of the people getting married on Tuesday. Waddell says after working with county and law enforcement officials, they decided this courtyard outside the county building is where gay couples will say I do on Tuesday. We are uh, preparing, of course, to be down here uh, most of the day on the 17th with different couples getting married uh, probably about every 20 minutes or half hour. The Bakersfield Police Department says it has not heard of any planned protest, but will be meeting with the Sheriff's Department to ensure everyone can exercise their legal rights. We haven't received any specific information that an individual or group planned to disrupt the activities. Regardless, the uh, Sheriff's Department and Police Department are communicating um, to ensure that if problems arise, that uh, we'll be prepared to maintain the public peace. San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom did announce today he will come to Kern County himself to marry gay couples if the, county's clerk, if the county clerk's office really does not have enough staff. Robin. So where is County Auditor, Controller and County Clerk Ann Barnett during all this controversy? Well, she is still not talking, though did give hint to reporters today that she may break her silence. But with reporters waiting outside her office, Barnett's assistant came out instead. He said Barnett may or may not make a statement. I think you may just be waiting here uh, for nothing at this point. So again, if she is ready to make a statement, she will give you a call. We will give you a call, our office, and let you know. We found the other day. Barnett later came out and said she had nothing to say and referred all questions to the Alliance Defense Fund. That's an organization that defends people on freedom of religion issues. Brian Rahm, Alliance Defense Fund senior legal counsel, issued this statement this afternoon. The Alliance Defense Fund is prepared, prepared to defend any clerk who exercises his or her right not to perform wedding ceremonies under California law. ADF is currently advising Ms. Barnett. Same-sex marriage opponents are filing a motion with the State Court of Appeals to stay the state Supreme Court decision allowing gay marriage licenses to be issued after 5 o'clock on Monday. The latest motion contends that the High Court overstepped its jurisdiction by overturning a voter-approved statute against gay marriage and declaring the state ban on same-sex marriage unconstitutional. The brief was filed in San Francisco on behalf of the Campaign for Children and Families. Organization President Randy Thomason contends that unless the legislature changes current statutes, domestic partners will not be barred from marriage, which could lead, he says, to polygamy. Two domestic partners in California, under the new ruling for same-sex marriages, can remain domestic partnerships, and one of the domestic partners, if he or she chooses, can marry someone else and still be in a domestic partnership. There's no restriction to this. Couples in California want the same thing everyone else is guaranteed, and that is the freedom to marry. So we're going to have a lot of happy couples that are marrying on Tuesday. End of story. They don't want anything more or anything less than anyone else is guaranteed in California. And, we're asking and no legislative action is needed to implement the state Supreme Court's decision.
And other news, the county clerk's office has announced it will now require people to make appointments in order to get their marriage licenses. This comes as the county will start issuing licenses to same-sex couples next week in accordance with the Supreme Court ruling. But the county clerk's office will no longer perform civil wedding ceremonies. According to their website, they performed 44% of the weddings in 2004 from licenses, I mean in seven, 2007, from licenses issued in the county. County Clerk Ann Barnett says they can no longer perform the weddings because of budget restraints and lack of room. The mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom, has offered to come to Kern County to lend a hand in helping marry gay and lesbian couples since all marriage ceremonies at the clerk's office were ended. I'll make my services available if they need a little help. And I don't mean that um, in a way to uh, do anything but impress upon them that there are tens of thousands of people across this country that would be more than happy to take a few days of their time to get sworn in as deputy marriage commissioners by the state of California and marry people. Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett says she will still issue the licenses but does not have the funding or the room to handle an influx of weddings after the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriages. Today the clerk's office also announced it will now require people to make appointments to get those marriage licenses. Newsom says Barnett's decision is very suspicious and there are, again are tens of thousands of volunteers from around the state that would be willing to help Kern County perform those marriages. I'm a little suspect. Uh, the idea that you can't accommodate for a few extra folks that want to come down and get married um, seems a little curious the time. Uh, and for those that suggest they can't accommodate anyone, well, now they're discriminating against opposite gender couples. I mean, they really have lost the moral authority and the higher ground. And the reality is uh, there are plenty of volunteers out there. Newsom says if funding is a concern, he suggests that Barnett and other counties who are dis uh, continuing those marriages raise the marriage fees in order to accommodate the demand.